and welcome back to Bear Rock Logging. Um, just trying to figure out how to... I had to raise the land up here to get those tree stumps out. And I still want to slope this down, get a track running up yonder to this platform here. Um, I was actually going to put a furniture factory there. But uh, guess where I have the other one? Right here. And all the times that I've been playing since I had this uh, production in place, I keep forgetting that I have it. So, we can check up on it, see how it's doing while we're here. Or was this out of wood? Uh, oh no, still got planks. Oh yeah, because this is going to get the planks from the sawmill and it's not going to get any wood enter to it whatsoever. Because all the wood that we take down is going to go to the uh, sawmill planks are getting distributed over here so basically all the woods come into the sawmill getting chopped up the planks are going to the uh, furniture factory here and the wood chips sawdust whatever you want to call them is going to be over here to the pellet clench And I should have done this in the last episode. I just plain forgot. Uh, we're gonna fill the pellet clinch. We're gonna fill the pellet clinch up uh, real quick. And we're just in the neighborhood. Let's go grab a tractor. Uh, let's get over here. as I run into the tanker yeah cause we need water and we need molasses whoa slow down there slow down there Piper zippity doo -dah. Probably would make best to get in a couple loads of molasses and then we'll come back and grab a couple loads of water then we'll see where that puts us oh you sliding all around well that's how much fun you get driving in the snow In. Let's grab some water. Um, I am being joined by my son. He is actually recording a recording me doing this particular episode of Bear Rock. Because um, uh, I'm right now, I wanted to do a a show you how it's done thing. So he's doing that while I'm actually playing this particular episode for you guys out there in YouTuber land. Let's go grab another thing of water. And so, you're gonna hear him cough in this video and you're gonna hear him cough in the how, how it's made video. And before I pull in any further and totally get out of the trigger. Um, 
I'm thinking what's going to happen is uh, uh, this episode 12 is going to be up before the how-to video. So, if you want to say hi, you can. Yo. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not recording everything by the way, I'm just doing like little clips of like what you're doing and then every time you do something different record. Well if you're doing it. Oh, that I'll put them all together though. Oh that makes sense. Okay. Alright, ooh, I said if we was gonna check on the check the level here. Let's go back and check the level. And, oh, wow. 15,000 each. So that should run for yeah, most of the day. Oh, yes, this is the sawmill. Okay. Now, because how it's going to break down is if I take down, uh, if I do take down trees. Those can go over to the sawmill. If I use the... I believe this track... Not the one I'm in. The tractor I'm in now is a Veltra. But I do believe this Black Beauty here is a Fent. If I mispronounced that, uh, my apologies. Um, so... If I don't use the, the Black Beauty there with the Tree Devourer or with the uh, big trailer to go and devour trees straight out of the pretty much straight out of the ground to take the trees down faster. Uh, versus using a chainsaw and so anyway the full trees being taken down are gonna go to the wood the sawmill if I use the the front wood chipper attachment with this tractor I'm gonna go straight over yonder to the pellet press and I was actually thinking about getting a a stationary wood chipper so that way I can get the smaller pieces of wood finally out in my driveway and as you've seen over there in the beginning of the clip or of the film here I got I got wood just littering that uh, side area over there. <coughs> oh, which reminds me while I'm pointing that direction. Let's go check up on the chickens. No, nope, wrong drive. Okay. I'll see you there. some eggs hey I got an idea who want out who want omelets ain't got no pigs so we can't have bacon we got to run to the store for that oh what can we get for the eggs or did I just pet there we go oh. 3300 pounds okay I believe I'm in January. Uh, well, it's a thousand pounds better than the lowest, and like eight hundred pounds less than good. So yeah, you know. Oh, 
We could probably take and sell these two. You know what? I'm not that worried about it right now. So... I'll worry about this drive later. Right now I got a little parcel of land up here that I wanted to... I'm still trying to... This area is going to be a future field. And the field that we... cultivated here... or made in the last episode is now under a lot of snow. We can't put nothing in there until the next sowing season. So, the upper level here is like, okay, where do I put the drive? We could probably throw the stationary chipper up here. Before recording, I kind of wandered back here for another field like back there. I don't know. There's just opened opportunities and this map is very hilly. But in all fairness, we had did you see that jump? I didn't know if it could jump like that. In all fairness, yeah, we're not gonna be able to do much right now. Um, so, yeah. so before we go to take a winter's nap here, I guess, the, f over by the river here, there's, a, there's a excellent amount of just flat land. Uh, when we wake up in the morning, I'll show you where I was thinking about putting a road. Yeah, he's still snowing. Oh. You can barely see it on this side. And, and it's holy criminies over here. Anyways, let's show you where that I wanted to put that road. I think even before the barley field gets done, we still have like three days or something like that, as according to the crop calendar. I was gonna put the road here, kind of winding it, winding and snaking it back through here to get down there. And this would be a perfect, you know what? This would be a perfect opportunity to get the devour and get that trailer and get these trees cleared out of here. And I'll see you when we get everything. Wasn't there just snow on the ground? Yeah, and the, did you see it kind of disappearing in chunks? No. No? A little bit. A little bit, yeah. Well, playing a seasonal on the map. Holy oh. crap, it was just in January. Now it's February. Well, I'm playing one day months. Oh. So. Okay, the rotating thing is just the dangerous end of the deal. Yeah. It works, um, I know you're probably not familiar with it, but those, uh, forage harvesters, it's the same fashion. And that's how fast you go through a tree. But anyways... I 
what did I hit? Oh. Do I need to lower this down? Uh, raise. I was actually doing this the other day. How in the blazes do I... Raise and lower this thing. Oh, that's the lights. We don't need the lights just yet. Okay. Um... Let me figure out how to raise and lower this thing uh, real quick, guys, and I'll be right back with you. Well, folks, I um, figured out the problem. You see up there in the corner where you get to where you get to go through the select the next tool, shimmy through. Yeah, it kind of helps if you get it on the tool before you go raise and lowering it. Because now I can lower it, now I can raise it. You know what? Yeah. And I haven't been accused of being the brightest light bulb in the lamp either, so... We can go right through here. Let's back that up a little bit here. Now what you ask? Was that a pterodactyl? Oh, that was a deer. And yes, I'm going after these other trees too, but it, they're going to be at a later time. So I figure I can leave all of the trees lining the rock edge there. Alright, you know what? You're going to... Uh, you guys are bothering me right now. Let me see. But still, this is a good wide enough. Whoops. This is still a good wide enough track to... Oh, is it still lowered? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go after these two. And a lot of times we still, we get to go up and down, up and down, up and down. 
Alright. Okay, then... We'll take out this tree here. We'll leave that one. And then once we fully get into here, we're going to be taking out... Yeah, I know. We're going to be taking out pretty much every tree. Like this one here. This one could probably stay. Uh, but all these trees that you see right here on the grass. Um, except for the ones lining the rock, of course. This one's going to go. Um, I don't know. I might come back and grab that one. But we're going to bring the track down or like around through here. Get this one out of the way. Bring the track over. Excuse me. And go all the way down that way. And with it, because take the track all the way pretty much around the outside. But go all the way down over there as far as we can go. We'll just work little by little. And... Maybe at some other point we'll clear a way out of here in this area. Put another field in here. So. Oh, we're only 24% fill, huh? Is that gonna fall? Is that gonna fall? <laughs> Look at it. Bye bye. Actually, how far down did it get? Let's, let's see how far down it got. <laughs> hey! Wow, that is a tall tree. Good lord. Um, I could probably swim across here and, uh, and climb up that other side. And then I get to climb up that little wall there just to take this bridge all the way back over here. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a very long journey. So, yeah, that is a tall tree. But anyways, back to the tractor. We have 145,571 liters of wood chips in here at the present moment. Um, so, yeah, now we got 154,272. Yeah, I figures that tree wouldn't go quietly into the night. circle back around starting to get a full trailer load eighty three okay we well, we can probably snag up these 
few extra trees over here. Okay, well... It's not following the trailer anymore, so I'm thinking we're full. So... Get on out of here. Let's take this all over to the pellet press. kind of figured we were getting full or at least that devourer was full because it wasn't following the trailer and just put him straight on the ground I actually you see this little icon right there, mm -hmm. in there. yeah it's that's what they call a tip icon you can just uh, pull up there and dump your stuff there yes it looks like it's going into the ground but it's actually going into the facility but over here, oh, that's the wood. Yeah, that's not going to have a. Okay, we're going to go by the noisy sawmill real quick. No, no, we're not. Where's that cell point at? Oh, okay, well. Okay, a lot of other places will have a grate like that. This is just a big one. It actually is part of this building here, but there's also smaller ones that'll be also with the, like a cell porn or whatever. So yeah, those things come in different sizes. And Uh, sorry folks going by a noisy sawmill hold on and another cell point will look like that all right um let's do Am I... Yeah, yeah, I was heading to the right one. Anyway. Oh, now you're catching the little one, huh? How about I fold you up there? There you go. Actually, I did not know which one was going to be detached first. Anyhow. I'm glad there's no collisions. I'm pressing more buttons than necessary. Anyways, um... Well, since I can't figure out what else there is to do, uh, the stationary wood chipper is still being debated. Um, the first crop that's going to be ready is the barley. I may have said the wheat, but I think it's going to be the barley. So, we just got to wait for the crop calendar to come back around. Like I said, I think barley's got like two three days maybe um so my canola field my wheat yeah of course I would put the barley all the way back here in the back alright 
so oh, let me check the fertilizer of course it would be only half okay well let's get this taken care of real quick before uh, we get out of here and fertilizing done see if we can fit through here Let's see, we can park this back up and say dad, you want to see the No. Alright. Well. Well so far that's how uh pretty much the gameplay is. I mean it if you're the one doing videos, you already got an idea. Everyone's got their own way, and this just happens to be the way that I found to do it, so. Yeah, um. And for all you, uh. uh let's see. Yep, well, anyways, you out there in YouTuber land, I'm gonna end it right here. Uh, thank you for being part of this journey, and thank you for being part of this journey. Uh, so I'm going to end it right here. I'm out. Peace.